On Tuesday, May 19, 2020, two dams on the Titabawassee River system breached. People lost everything. We lost everything. We might never be able to come back to this house. And we're lucky. There were people whose houses floated right off of their foundations. And what's better, to come back to just a foundation or to come back to this mess? The initial damage was way more than I think anybody ever expected. I think it was like going to a funeral for 300 people all at one time because there was a huge loss of what uh, people had and there was a lot of grieving in the streets. The whole basement was filled. The water had raised to the bottom of the bay window in the living room. Um, there were literally six fish swimming in the basement. We are very thankful that the community, all the people that have come that we don't know from churches, the people and the community have been absolutely amazing. No questions asked. They come in and say, where do you want us to start? People in Freeland, just people we don't even know coming up yeah. in mass, you, you, you can't see them, you see their faces, but they're just like, can we help you? Unbelievable. I mean, we are so lucky. We have mortgages on our houses. Um, we had equity in them. We don't have equity anymore. And we don't even know if, they're gonna, if there's going to be a lake again. So if there's not a lake, we'll never have equity. So the, the goal of the, the lawsuit is, is, man, it's just really to try and make people as whole as we can possibly make them, knowing that there's not a dollar amount that's going to put, put the pieces of the puzzle back together. Considering what happened here and at Sanford and in Midland, and no serious injuries and no loss of life, it's a miracle. Breached. The Titabawassee River Disaster, coming in October, only on Delta College Public Media.